Norton Children's Hospital is reporting an increase in kids showing up to the emergency room when they might not need that level of care. WDRB's Monica Harkins explains what families should be looking for before they turn to the hospital. This time of year, it's viral infections, but there are thousands of viruses that can cause these types of infections. There's lots of bugs and viruses that can put your kids under the weather. But it doesn't always change a lot of the treatment that we do. Pediatrician Dr. Heather Felton with Norton Children says many times these fall sicknesses don't need emergency room care, but right now the hospital has seen an increase of just that. Instead, she says, call your pediatrician first. Even if there aren't appointments here, we can give advice on what you can do at home or help you decide if this is something that you can wait out or if you do need to go to the emergency room. Thankfully, there hasn't been a wild spike in any of the three big ones, flu, RSV, and COVID. But Felton says they're still circulating. We didn't see a lot over the summer, which was really nice, but we have seen an increase in cases since then. And same thing with flu and RSV. And so I would expect that to continue as we go through the winter months. Dr. Uh, Felton says some good working. rules of thumb, keep your child at home if they have a fever of 100.4 or more, but also symptoms that can cause them discomfort, like trouble breathing or lack of appetite. But it's fine to start some at-home treatments too. Like Tylenol or ibuprofen for fever, suctioning out the nose, and honey in a humidifier for a cough. To prevent getting sick, Dr. Felton says a healthy diet and sleep go a long way, but don't forget about vaccines. We usually say, Flu before boo, that means get your flu shot before Halloween, so this is the perfect time of year to get your flu shot. This is just the beginning of sick season. For more information on how to schedule an appointment for any vaccines your family might need, just click on this story on our website, WDRB.com. In Louisville, with photojournalist Dave White, Monica Harkins, WDRB News.